So, uh, we got back from New Mexico last night, and, uh, well, I was there, bought a few pipes at a thrift store. We were inside the thrift store, and my wife came running out to me and, uh, said, oh, they got pipes. Most of them were, uh, junk, but they had a couple of that were unsmoked, and, uh, so I went in and looked at them, bought three pipes for $20. I thought that was pretty good. But a couple of them, one of them was just a little old, kind of a sitter, uh, cheap thing. But a couple of them were uh, kind of interesting, so I thought I'd show you those, because I don't have any like at least one of them. Here they are. Um, the one on the bottom, obviously, is a corn cob, but it's not a Missouri Mersham. Um, it's actually made by this company here, and I'll have to put my glasses on to read it. Yeah, you're going to have a hard time reading that, but it's B-U-E-S-C-H-E-R-S. Bursers? Bishers? Bushers? Anyway, I thought it was kind of cool, and uh, my hand's now full of tobacco. Um, when I got it, uh, I didn't know anything about this, so I just bought it. Thought maybe it was rosewood, but after I did a little research, that is a uh, hickory pipe made along the same lines as a uh, corn cob. And I'll be doggone if that thing doesn't smoke good. Has a, a little unusual flavor from the hickory, but uh, it's not not necessarily unpleasant. Just something uh, unusual. And then this corn cob, um, made by the same company. And I'm saying that because the bands are the same, but it, the little sticker had come off the bottom. But the thing I like about them is, you know how cheap those Missouri Mersham uh, stems are? That's an actual solid stem. It's almost like a forever stem. But they were both unsmoked, and they both smoke really well. And while I am not a corn cob fan like some of you guys, I couldn't pass it up. And it's really, it's just a, a higher quality than the Missouri Mersham. And I looked around on the line about these this company and I don't know if they still make pipes or not. Um, I see a few on eBay but uh, they're kind of old, you know. Anyway, I thought they were kind of interesting and I'll be doggone if they don't smoke like a dream. And a uh, little housekeeping. My Peterson with the military fit with the fishtail. Do not like the um, P lip, so I don't have uh, but one Peterson with a P lip. And uh, Carter Hall. But uh, anyway, that's a new a couple new purchases on the pipes. But I also have something else to tell you about. I have a confession to make. Not an easy thing to say. But I needed to tell the truth somebody. of the matter is, I've taken a mistress. Got me a new baby. Want to see it? That is a Kawasaki Drifter. 1500. I have not owned a motorcycle in numerous years. If I ever got another one, it was going to be this. Gorgeous. In Dunhill, but I'm telling you, it smokes. Well, so anyway, that's my new mistress. And uh, I think I'm going to have my, well, I know I'm going to have my first ever YouTube pipe community contest. And I'm going to announce that in the next couple of days. But it's going to be Name Tom's New Motorcycle Contest. And what's going to be required is a video response to uh, probably not this video but the one where I actually uh, come out and announce it which I guess I'm kind of doing now but I haven't got the prize picked out I know what I want 
but I haven't bought it yet. And so when I come out and announce the prize formally, that'll be the video that I would like everybody who's interested to participate in by helping me name my new mistress. So look for that in the next um, two or three days, week at the most, because i got to get online and buy what I would like to give as a contest winner's prize. Hope everybody's doing fine. Um, once again, I know this has been random, but that's really, you know, that's my thing. And I hope everybody's doing well. And, uh, bye.